Hey guys, in today's video I want to talk about Charizard, who I think is still one of the strongest junglers currently in the game. I think he's still quite underrated, but he does have his fair amount of weaknesses, but he also has insanely strength and is one of the best carries for straight up solo queuing, because his unite move can just absolutely carry games very, very hard, super strong in team fights. For the head items, he run Master and Scope Lens for just damage. His passive is that under 50% HP, he does high more crit chance as well. So making sure that we get a lot of crit damage in with Scope Lens and Master Band, just standard, I mean, auto taking damage item, right? And then we also have Buddy Barrier because we want to not die in our Unite move. And also Buddy Barrier is great synergy with this passive, the crit thing. That means that, you know, when you drop under 50 HP, you unite someone, you get a shield, but you still stay under 50% HP in theory. So you still get that crit from his passive. For early game clear, make sure you start with Flame Burst, because Flame Burst is the one that burns opponents and you only do damage, you pretty much only do damage to people that burn, otherwise you don't do damage. So Fire Spin doesn't burn, the first ability never never burns, only the second ability, which is either Flamethrower, Flame Burst, or Fire Punch burns opponents, the other do not burn opponents. So always make sure that you hit that ability onto enemies, otherwise you will not be dealing damage outside of your Unite move. Very important, I think a lot of people don't know that. Here I see bot lane, I'm just looking for a gank to see where I can go. I think his level 5 is very, very strong. Flamethrower is such a good ability now. Also combined with Fire Blast, he's very good at chasing down targets and just very, very hard to deal with. Gets a lot of mobility as well. Flamethrower, if you hit it, you get a lot of move speed from it. And you can see we just run this guy down and we get very, very fast. Get a nice 16 score in here. And then we drop our Flamethrower again. Just going for the beast a bit. Green wants, <laughs> wants to get this very badly, get level 5, but he actually does. But we still manage to take him down. Now another Flamethrower, we get insane move speed. Take him down. Everything on a recall here. No point in spending too much time in the lane. My jungle is, is about to respawn. So heading back to my jungle. I also got good top here, but uh, decided not to because, you know, I'm just getting that safe experience. I want to be level 9 at Dread very, very badly. If I see the enemy jungler overstanding on top now, I can maybe start invading his jungle if I want to, which is a possibility. You can always check that because the enemy jungler spent a lot, a lot of time top lane. So I'm just going to walk towards mid lane now and see if the enemy jungler is doing one of these. And if he's on these, then I might go in for an invade and just check out his jungle buffs a bit. And I see the enemy jungler here. And yeah, he's a level 6 Gardevoir. He actually wants to fight me and just hit one flamethrower, throw the fire blast, and we kill him. So this is what I mean when, when I say you should just go for your buffs, right? Don't spend too much time in the lane. Because if the enemy jungler knows what you're doing, you're going to get punished very hard. And I'm instantly going to go to his blue buff, take away the blue buff. Pretty good at invading as well. I do so much damage. I have such insane clear. Uh, now Green just trying to fight me. But we hit a flamethrower, and after that, we pretty much like can just kite him out, get another kill. Now a bit low though, shouldn't overex like, yeah. Actually the Gengar comes over here, try to dodge his things, and uh, I almost actually, I would have maybe killed him if the Gardevoir didn't appear and out <laughs> takes me to death. Uh, yeah, actually, it's, it's crazy. Every time I play Invade in Solo queue, the enemy team actually comes and uh, you does something about it. I feel like my team would never do that, <laughs> but whatever. Um, yeah, we still get a nice kill. We got two hits, I mean, we got a buff stolen, so which means we'd be level 9. And now let's talk about the biggest weakness that Charizard has. Or the two biggest weaknesses that Charizard has. Which is, he doesn't have objective secure. So if your team doesn't have objective secure, it's quite hard to play against. Um, he just has, he has no last hitting, right? So you have to kill your opponents and pretty much hope that your that your team secures or has secure in it. You can also see, we're very nice at chasing on greedance with this character. So yeah, we pretty much have to just use Unite move, kill as many characters as, as we can, so the enemy have no chance of doing anything. So again, I'm instantly going to Unite move the Curlier here. He's not level 9 yet. Get 1k, go for the Gengar now. And yeah, they're not level 9 on their jungler, so I get a nice double kill. I managed to secure the Dread. So that's the biggest issue that Charizard has. He can't last hit Zapdos's, he can't last hit Dreadnoughts, which is quite quite bad, right? Um, if the enemy jungler is level 9 this way, then he has a high chance, so we just have to kill him. That's your main goal. When you get to Charizard and you're from the first threat, your main goal is kill the enemy jungler. And uh, that's what you should be focusing on. Very, very badly. This guy tries to unite move me, but I my flamethrower move speed nicely runs away from it. He really wants the kill. I mean, I think it's fine if he gets the kill. It's a lot of experience for him, so I don't really mind the play of him. And nothing is up right now, so that guy will unite does make sense, but obviously he whiffed it a bit. Maybe should have done it a bit earlier. But besides that, it was actually a fine unite. Um, would have maybe done it myself as well, because that experience would have been a lot of experience he would have, he would get from me since I'm the highest level in the game, right? And the second biggest weakness is unstoppable effects. You have to really watch out in team fights. If one time your unite move gets unstoppable, you're done for, right? You you will just lose um, the team fight, especially on Zapdos. If you manage to not get your unite move out, you will probably just die and be useless. So. Yeah, that's the biggest issue he has, no last setting, and his Unite move being, you know, cancer ban solvable effects. If the enemy carry has like a full heal and he pays attention towards it, then it can be quite difficult. 
to play against. Here we get Greninja United, and I'm just counter uniting him. I think this was not really good unite. I don't think I, I didn't like this. I, after I said, I was like, nah, this was kind of pointless. I don't think he would have killed me anyways. And now I won't have it for the next objective. I'm trying to find him, but he actually went back. Um, yeah, wasn't a big fan of this unite. And again, you have to hit flamethrowers. If you don't hit flamethrowers, don't even fight someone. If you miss your flamethrower, don't walk up and auto attack. You will do no damage because your entire damage comes from someone being marked by your flamethrower burn and then you're dealing damage with it. If you don't have that mark on them and they're not burning, you will not do damage. Again, Fire Blast doesn't burn opponents. It only leaves a zone that slows them, deals damage over time, but it doesn't mark them burned. Uh, very important, very, very important. So now we don't have Unite move for this, so we just have to play one of Flamethrowers, hit them a bit, kite a bit, and try to just auto attack as much as we can, but like not trying to go too deep. Um, yeah, but we, we're quite fine. My team is still luckily very strong. We have Hooper Unite, which is still also very hard to fight against for them. I'm just going to start my attention on towards Dread now. But again, yeah, I think the Unite on top lane on the Grinja was a bit too, too over eager. Wasn't a big fan of it. And, and again, I instantly said it afterwards as well. But playing, I was like, nah, this was not a good Unite. <laughs> really not. And yeah, Shahizad is very good at running down targets as long as you hit your flamethrower. It's so very really funny. Social ability, you can see. I just hit one flamethrower and we just instantly gain so much move speed and just run the person down. Hit a flame fire blast as well as they're slow. It's even easier to catch up. Top of Dinos up. Just going to farm these fast. I want to reach level 15 very badly. And I think this is a game where I can reach 15 very easily. So I'm going to try and focus on reaching level 15 as well. I know Rotom is up, but I really don't care about Rotom too much. Um, and I think Rotom is... It's okay, but it's nothing you should necessarily die for. But I do have one more Unite move, so got in my, got my Unite move again. So we're going to look for something. It's the last time I can Unite move in this game. So we just do it. Hit a nice um, thing there. <laughs> just go on the Gengar. Just insta I just want to insta use my Unite move. The problem is that uh, the Rotom actually hits a 17 HP goal, which is very unfortunate. So this Rotom really didn't get much value. I'm just going to go let me jungle very fast. See some of stuff away here. But I don't even want to go in the spot on top lane. If I die now, like they're going to get so much experience from me, right? So... Not a big fan of doing that, so we just uh, try to see some buffs away, try trying to be very safe as well. And yeah, I didn't mention that I'm running full here, just because I think um, if you get stuck in slow smokes as Charizard, it's just quite annoying against Vigitaf. Really you just have to get out. Like You just have to make sure you get your Unite move out and you not CC it until you die. Um, you can also still play Eject Button. There's some people that play slow smoke on Charizard, but I really would not recommend it, because if you play slow smoke, slow smoke yourself, you can't escape from any slow smokes. So, yeah, not, not, a, not a big fan of that. Now we try to reach level 15. Also, Potion Charizard is a big favorite in my games. Uh, please don't play Potion Charizard. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, almost level 15 now. Our buffs are about to respawn. So, we, we hit level 15 pretty comfortably here, right before Zeptus is going to spawn. So, very good timing on it. Had a good amount of farming, good fighting. Um, find a nice green in our jungle. And... <sighs> I really don't like this last threat. I think this threat, 20 seconds before if 20 seconds before Zapdos address spawns, I don't think you should go for it. I, I really shouldn't. Zapdos positioning is so much more important, being first and middle. And I see so many people just doing insane mistakes when it comes to these dread fights. They like use your unite moves or they just go in 2v5 because they think it's so important. Like our Serena right here just jumps in 1v5. Our team is not even there. We're just trapping here. Uh, the Greninja walks into me, just take him down. It's just so much better. Again, like, that's what I mean. Just having Zapdos positioning. People are so unaware of their surroundings. If you just stay on Zapdos, they will face check into you. It happens so often that, you know, I just wait in a brush. Someone's going to face check and we get nice kids. We get two kids. The Greninja's also dead. And now we come back to Charizard's biggest issue. Yeah, we can do Zapdos here, but I have no last hitting, right? I, I, I can't last hit. So what I will do here is I will just try to kill my opponents. And uh, my team is going to Zapdos. I'm waiting here for them to respawn. I want them to jump. There's the Grinja. And we just kill him insanely fast. Pretty much gets one shot by me. So I'm just doing my job off. I still have my Unite up and I'm just going to zone. Uh, again, I don't have last hitting. Of course, I'm our DPS, so I would do it faster. But we got we got one kill. Now we go. We ult the Gardevoir. And the Edigos is also getting zoned by my Unite move. So we successfully zone three characters. So if my team loses this Zapdos, then, you know, unlucky. But yeah, we get Zeptos here. I think it was pretty good zoning. And we win the game. Pretty, pretty decent after the board. And I ended up with 107k damage. Pretty solid, I would say, for this game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe.